Ultimately, I think the Hidden Dimensions galleries bring new life into these old objects. They show that furniture and ceramics from the past aren't just occupants of stylistic categories, but are engaged with very real and very relevant elements of human experience, and arguably parts of human experience that are as much a part of the field of objects today as they were in the past. And I think curatorially speaking, there's something else to take away from these galleries, and that is the value of making arguments, uh, offering the visitor thesis statements in an art museum. Because however strong these statements on the wall may seem, however authoritative their voices, they are also ultimately uh, offering the visitor a chance to engage and maybe even disagree with some of the things that are being said. And through that engagement, through that disagreement, um, we hope that people are looking more seriously and thoughtfully at things and realizing that you can speak about furniture and ceramics, that these objects have the kind of complexity of any painting or any other object in uh, the galleries upstairs.